Hi guys, it's Mrs. Novoselsky. It is time for science. So we have been using our five senses to make observations. So we took a scavenger hunt where we used all five senses to look at items around our houses. And then we played a sound game where we listened to different sounds and then took a guess as to what we thought they were. And we also watched a video where we used our sense of sight to make observations about the differences between night and day. Now, good scientists don't just make observations. They record their observations so that they can remember them later and share them with their colleagues, their friends. Now, you may not remember everything when you make your observations. If two or three years later, you can refer back to your recorded observations so you can remember them. One way to record your observations is in a science journal. And I made one for you. And I'm going to show you today how to use it to record your observations. So the first thing you'll need to do is have your mom or dad or grandma or some adult print out your science journal for you. And there is a link and they will be able to see the link and they'll be able to, re to print it out for you. So this is our cover page. And the first thing that you're going to do is write your name here on this line. So I'm not going to print mine out because I want to be able to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to pick up my pencil, just like you'll pick up your pencil, and I'm going to write my name on this line. So I'm going to write Mrs. And I'm just going to write Mrs. Novo, which is short for Mrs. Novoselsky. But Mrs. Novoselsky is so long, and our blank isn't very long. So I'm going to write Mrs. Novo. So this is Mrs. Novo's science journal. That's me. So I'm going to use this to record observations. And I'm going to hold on to it because we're going to use this for the rest of the school year while we do our science. Then the next thing you're going to do is print out this sheet. This is your science journal observation page. And you are going to print this one out today and then you're going to use it again. So you're going to print out a bunch of them and put them all together in your science to make up your science journal. So the first thing you'll do is you are going to write what item you are observing. So what I thought we would observe first is this picture of a feather, just so that we can do it all together. All right, so the item I am observing is a feather. So on this blank, you are going to pick up your pencil and you are going to write the word feather. Now, just do your best job sounding it out or Someone can help you. So f f I hear f, eh, 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 eh. Now feather's a little weird. This helps it make the eh sound. The, 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 the. It's T H, er, er, er. So the item we are observing is a feather. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to look at what we notice. So what do we notice about the feather? I notice that it is white and gray. So in this box, it says, what do I notice? And I am going to write that I notice that the feather is white and gray. What I want you to do now is take a few minutes. I'm going to hold up the picture of the feather up in the screen, up in my little picture. And I want you to take a few minutes to see what else you observe about this feather. And I want you to write down at least three things 
in the what I observe box. <coughs> so go ahead and pause the video and write down your three things or more that you notice about the feather. All right, welcome back. So I noticed also that it is on the grass or on the ground. You may or may not have noticed that. And you must have, you would have noticed other things too. I noticed that it's kind of fuzzy. And one other thing, and I you can't tell this from the picture, but I know it from life, is that feathers are light. They don't weigh very much. If you've ever held a feather, have you held a feather? They don't weigh very much. So it's light. Oops. Okay. So that is the what do I notice? Then we're going to go down. And there is a box here to draw. So now you're going to take your pencil and you are going to make a drawing of the feather. So it's got a stem. And you can rewind the video and go back and look at the feather. I'll put it in here right now in case you want to pause it here. So go ahead and pause the video and draw your picture of the feather. Now mine's not going to be very good because it's here on my screen, which is really not easy to do. But there we go. It's not bad, actually. So I want to remember to put in as many details as I can. So you'll use your crayons to go through and color in the different colors. See how there's kind of a line down the middle? You'll want to put that in your picture, too. And you can put the grass in if you want. Anything that you are noticing about the feather, you'll want to put in your drawing of it. And then the last thing that you do, and remember, scientists use their observations to come up with questions and predictions. So one of the questions I have is, what kind of feather is this? What kind of bird had this feather? So what kind of bird? Sorry guys, my handwriting online is not very good. I'm just trying my best and that's all I ask of everybody. And you can even predict what kind of bird if you want to and you would write that in here. So, let me change how I spelled what. It should be an A. If you want to predict, you could write, I think it is a seagull. So then you would come up with all the questions that you have about your bird, about your feather or the item that you're observing, and you will write them here. Okay, so then the last thing that you'll do is you'll print out another one of these sheets. And I want you to practice making observations of an object by yourself at home. So have mom and dad print out another science journal observation page, and then you can click and I sent in a link some pictures that you can use. The feather is on that link too. But here's a picture of a flower that you could observe. Here's a picture of some hummingbirds that you could observe. You could go back to the video from last week that has the pine cones in it and you could stop the video on the pine cones and observe those. You could do something in your yard. You could do something around your house. And then when you're done making your observations, I want you to take a picture of your science journal and go ahead and send it in to your teacher. All right. Have a good time observing and recording. See you soon.